Good afternoon folks, it's Simon at Vans today in Worcester. I'm here to give you a video walk around of this 2018 uh, on a 68 plate. It is the Ford Transit Custom, 2 litre TDCI 130 brake horsepower. So that's the Euro 6 emission zone compliant engine. It is the L1 short wheelbase with the H1 low roof. It is in limited format, so that's the spec desirable specification that everybody wants. Um, this is a two-keeper from new vehicle. It has come direct off fleet. Uh, it has covered 58,000 warranted miles, uh, and it's in pretty good overall condition. Uh, there are a few minor bits and pieces I'll point out to you, and to those of you that haven't seen any of our videos before, uh, the purpose of all these videos is to give you a warts and all video walk around of the vehicle so you'll get an idea of exactly what it is that you're buying. The vast majority of our customers will buy having watched these videos, uh, leave a deposit, come and collect or leave a deposit and uh, get uh, a quote for delivery. Um, so um, if you want Partex, if you want finance, we can sort all of that out for you as well at the same time. I think they're slightly distracted at the moment. So uh, let's get going with the video, shall we? So we all start up here on the roof. Hopefully you can see the roof is in good all round condition. No damage, didn't come in with any roof bars on it or anything like that. So all looking good. Coming down onto your windscreen. The windscreen is in good overall condition. Uh, no major stone chips or cracks or anything like that that's going to cause either of us any grief. And it is the heated quick clear front windscreen as well. And then coming down onto your bonnet, again, the bonnet is in good overall condition. Now, as is typical for the weather at the moment, we've come down here with a dry vehicle and then the heavens have opened and it started to rain. But I will try and point out to you any of the bits, okay? When I say, so there might be the odd minor little stone chip. There's my fingernail, there's a stone chip. As you can see, they're not very big at all, are they? So everything good from that point of view. Front grills, etc. those are all good. Front bumpers all good. There are actually, if I just point them out to you, there's a couple of minor little bits and pieces on the front bumper. So here and here and just down here. Um, now you can see them up close, they have been touched in. If I stand back here, which is about a meter away from the vehicle, as you can see, they don't really stand out, do they? Passenger side headlamp unit, that's all good. They are the automatic variant on this with the DRL daytime LED running lights. You have front fog lights as well. Front bumper corners all good with no scuffs. And if we look down the side profile of the vehicle from this angle, uh, there are no major dents or dings to point out to you. It's got a nice mirror reflection to the paintwork as well. So all looking pretty good from that point of view. The only thing I would say is front bumper two wing is slightly different shade of blue. This is the second or third chrome blue van we've had through lately with this on it i believe the bumpers aren't painted on the vehicle uh, they're painted separately so there we go uh, driver's side headlamp unit again that's all good and then driver's side front bumper corner again overall very good if we're being really fussy we've got some minor little marks down here but nothing major fog light units all good and then again looking down the side profile of the van overall good condition there is a little parking ding in the driver's door i'll try and point that out to you when we get round to that in a second Driver's side front wing, that's all good. Driver's side front alloy wheel, overall good condition. We have an Avon tire fitted to that. That tire has loads of tire tread depth as you can see there. Mirror unit with integrated indicator, all good. Upper and lower mirrors are good. Driver's side door glass, that's all looking good. Driver's side door itself, overall good condition. Now let me point out to you that ding. It is just here. I will get my dent man on it, see what he can do to sort that out for you. Door handle, pretty good. You've got a little bit of light scuffing behind there from nails. We'll see if we can get some tea cut in there and stuff. Um, door lock, overall good condition. Have a look at your door edges as I bring it down. Door edges, overall good condition. There are a couple of little touch-ins on them, but overall, as you can see, pretty good. Lower sills, those are in good condition as well. And then your sliding door on your driver's side, overall good condition. So there's a few things to note. It is a twin side loading door for starters. You do have the factory opening on the door glass windows on the rear sliding doors as well. And this is the six seat version as well. So pretty 
handy to know, I guess. Um, door handle's good, because obviously you can, you can buy them with five seats and you can buy them with a single slider as well. So hence the reason why I mention it. Headlining inside's all pretty good. Passenger side from your sliding door, I think you can see is very nice and respectable. Your entry sills and plastics are in overall good condition. The seating inside, again, overall good condition. Integrated seat belts into these, got a nice factory bulkhead behind your seats there as well. Have a look underneath your seats and you can see those are also in overall tidy condition. Carpet mat in the back there, back of your seats, they're not battered or anything from kids uh, feet smashing against them. Upper quarter this side, that's all good. And lower quarter and arch this side is in overall good condition as well. We have a Continental tyre on the back end of the vehicle, factory alloy wheel. That Conti tyre has loads of tyre tread depth, as you can see there. Factory alloy wheel is in good condition with no major scuffing, or no scuffing, I should say. And then looking down the driver's side of the vehicle from this angle, you can see that nice reflection to the paintwork. Driver's side rear light unit is in overall good condition. And then driver's side rear bumper corner is in overall good condition as well really minor little mark there but nothing major and let me just do a stand back overview of the driver's side of the vehicle there you go looks very nice and respectable doesn't it lovely color this one of the best colors to buy them in around to the back end so you've got 50 50 split on your rear barn doors and the barn doors overall pretty good condition now there are a couple of minor bits i'm going to point out to you we have the smallest of little dings there. And we do have just a little bit of a ding there as well. Both of those I think are dent man stuff and the dent man should hopefully be able to get those out. It's gonna require a bit of a touching on your door handle, a bit of teacup behind the door handle there as well. And there are just a couple of minor wear and tear, wear and tear sort of scratches, but nothing major. Back of the bumper, obviously you have front and rear parking sensors. There is some marks to the paintwork on that fascia of the bumper there fairly easy smart repair to be fair um, your rear reflectors are in good condition and then opening up the back of the van as you can see it's done a job it's not been battered it's not been lovingly cared for either it's just done a job for what you would expect for what is essentially a five-year-old van but you've got factory bulkhead as you can see you've got ply lining on the sides You've got the standard Ford wheel arch protectors on each side as well. And then your flooring inside is also in clean, tidy condition. The plastics in the back of the van here, they're not chewed to pieces. It's just the door edges, just a little bit of paint on the door edges there. Again, that is smart repairable if it was to really wind you up. And then your rear doors, again, ply lined. There are minor wear and tear marks, but Obviously, it is a van that has done a job. <coughs> Looking down the passenger side, passenger side of the vehicle, overall clean and tidy condition as well. Nice reflection to the paintwork. Rear light unit this side, all in clean, tidy condition. Rear bumper corners this side, all good as well. Passenger side. So Telephone's just gone, disrupted the video. I'll patch it all together for you. However, on the telephone was my smart repairer. So assume, I've just had a word with them about that rear bumper. So assume that that will be painted because it's going back to get that done on it now. Rear arch uh, and lower quarter, all good. Upper quarter's good. That alloy wheel's all good. Continental tire on there. Loads of tire tread depth on there. Um, and then your sliding door on this side, obviously the factory opening on the glass sliding door itself is in nice tidy condition get down low check out your lower sills those are in good condition and your passenger side front door again overall good condition we have a touching required on your door handle there passenger door handles good mirror unit all good and then passenger front wing etc all in nice tidy condition Alloy wheel this side, Avon tyre on that one. Alloy's in nice condition. You've got Avon tyre, which has loads of tyre tread depth. So from by my reckoning, I think that's two Contis on the rear, which will be your original brand. And then you've got two Avons on the front. Another viewpoint of the inside of the van from the passenger side, your seat trims, etc. Nice and tidy. Entry seals and plastics good. 
Back of the seats, overall good condition. We've got a little bit of a mark there, but as you can see, overall nice, tidy condition. Passenger side, passenger side door card, good. Excuse the paper mat, I've just screwed up and chucked in the door pocket there, but those are all clean and tidy. Door shuts and entry sills, clean, tidy condition as well. Carpet on this side, you've got over carpet, over mats on the vehicle. Cup holders, bonnet, glove box. Oh, got a tire inflation kit in there and your locking walnut keys in there. Vents are all good. Dashboard fascia, overall good condition. Little minor mark there, but nothing major. And then on your seats, as I say, you've got your double passenger seats. That gives you six seat ability on it. And then you've got a little bit of a rub mark on the cloth trim there. This pulls down and you've got cup holders in it. And this one flips up this way and you've got additional storage underneath there. It's a pretty practical bits of kit to be honest with you for family these things are mega chuck your bikes in the back chuck all your sports kit in the back it's all separate to the van happy days isn't it yes i've got surrounded by loud kids dicking about on bikes but there we go coolant all good correct color coolant for ford air box oil filler dipstick power steering fluid brake fluid windscreen wash and there's your overview underneath the bonnet you can see it's very clean and tidy isn't it driver's side so driver's side door card overall clean tidy condition as well minor bits of wear and tear on the plastic but nothing major central locking electric folding mirrors electric windows entry seals and plastics on this side nice tidy condition and your door shuts all good we have Auto lights, front and rear fog lights, dashboard illumination, vents are all good, cup holders are here, 12 volt power, USB power there, lots of storage on top of the dash as well. Driver's side seat, as you can see, overall nice tidy condition as well. And then if we get into the vehicle, turn it on, 58,472 miles, fires up nicely, apart from telling us we're low on fuel, and I haven't got my seat belt on, you can see, your, your instrument panel uh, fascia is in nice clean tidy condition it's not full of dust it's not scratched etc nice leather steering wheel bit of girth on there nice sporty thing um, cruise control with speed limiter all your various onboard computer voice activation search controls telephone controls etc on here as well indicators and main beam on your left hand stalk wipers on your right hand stalk and then you've got this pretty cool touchscreen system here which uh, in a flash gives you DAB, FM, AM, Bluetooth, telephone, Bluetooth, music, and also you've got your Apple CarPlay and your Android Auto as well. Happy days, bit of voice activation going on there as well. Air conditioning, heated seats in the front, heated quick clear front windscreen, parking sensors, climate control, and uh, sorry, uh, temperature control, and then your blower fans. Hazard warning lights are here, 12 volt power there, USB power there as well, six speed manual gearbox, in between your seats there you can see overall tidy condition and that my friends is about it so give you a quick recap um, there are 60 to 70 photos of this van on our website our website is vanstoday.com we are vans today worcester based in the center of the country offering you nationwide delivery part exchange and finance feel free to give us a call 01905 672 080 or email us sales at vanstoday.com if you're worried about who you're buying off, check out our reputation online. We have reviews, Google, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram. A bit of trust pilot going on nowadays as well, I believe. And there we go. Um, thanks for looking. It's about 15 minutes of your life. You're never going to get back. But if you wanted an honest description of the van, that is your honest description, I believe. Uh, and there we go. Any queries, any questions, give us a shout. Cheers. Bye.